welcome back to my channel. Today on Dementia Tips, I'm going to kind of lead on from my last video, which was about liquidising your loved one's food when they've got problems with their chewing or their swallowing or they choke on their food. This time I'm going to talk about their fluid intake. Um, obviously, drinking can become just as difficult as eating. So first off, I'm just going to start with just your normal glass we found with Brenda that the bigger the glass the kind of the harder it would become she used to have a much bigger glass that she would drink from um, which for a long time was fine but it kind of become too heavy for her it was too kind of bulky too hard for her to grasp so we got some smaller sort of tumblers they're much more lightweight much more easier to handle and because we wasn't leaving her on her own for as long as we used to we kind of found little and often was the trick. You know, I could not even top this up, kind of do it three quarters of the way um, and sit and watch her drink it. And it wasn't too overwhelming for her. It wasn't too much fluid to kind of take in at one time. When we didn't live with her or when we did kind of first live with her and I would go out for quite a few hours and leave her by herself, um, I would leave several notes and I've, I've mentioned this in previous videos I'd leave a big glass of squash and maybe a cup of tea with a note saying to drink them and she would sit and obsess over this note and you could sit and watch her doing it you know she would lift the note up read it put it down lift it up again read it again and she would be taking sips of her drink so for us it really did work so if you are leaving your loved one on their own for an hour or so maybe you don't live with them uh, maybe you know they live by themselves and they're still quite the early stages of dementia or maybe you live with them full time and you you just need to kind of pop out to the shop and you're worried that they're not going to be taking in fluid while you're gone little notes are a really good way to kind of get their attention and get them drinking this fluid while you're not there supervising them obviously the worst thing you want is that they go for hours and hours without any fluid of course that in itself causes so many problems with UTIs and whatnot. What I wouldn't advise is a tumbler like this. I don't know if you guys can see, it's a very pretty little glass but it's got the little uh, flamingos on it, the little pictures. Um, you may find that your loved one really likes this, it may actually make them drink more fluid um, but you may also find, and I imagine this will be more common, that it will just confuse them um, because of the pictures, that they are literally just going to sit and talk to it all day long. They're going to think that they're real um, and they're going to sit and talk to it and either the drink is going to go everywhere or they're actually not going to drink anything because they're too busy having a conversation with the flamingo and it's just going to distract them and the main thing you want to do is get some fluid into them. They may think that they've got bugs in their drink, they might think the glass is dirty and therefore won't drink out of it. There's kind of multiple reasons why they won't drink out of something like this as opposed to something like this. Like I always say, it is trial and error and it is just down to what your loved one likes. Another thing you can do if your loved one is finding it difficult to actually lift the drink to their mouth um, maybe you're finding that they're spilling it quite a lot and they're getting most of it down them. Quite simply, a straw. Um, this one's full size. We actually used to cut the straws down to about that that sort of size. Um, and it just made life um, a bit easier and it wasn't so much that she had to suck up. Cause it's, for, I know it sounds ridiculous because for us it, it's not something we really have to worry about, but for an elderly person that maybe is quite weak or you know quite confused sucking on a straw this length is quite difficult and um, so just cutting maybe a quarter of it off really did help us if your loved one is really starting to struggle with drinking from a glass and even maybe the straws not working there are other options they're not going to be for everyone um, may, some people may find it a little upsetting not only the loved one may find it upsetting but you yourselves may find it upsetting to witness um, but what you kind of need to remember is they are like adult sized toddlers if you like they are kind of like babies um, and you don't necessarily want to treat them like babies but when it comes to certain things they do need the extra help 
like a young child would. A few options that we tried with Brenda and one that worked particularly well for us was this beaker. Um, we could use it as a cup. It's also got the measurements on the side so if we maybe needed to put some sort of medication in her drink. So that sort of thing does really, really help. It's got the lid on it so you know that if they if they knock it off the table or they drop it that only a little bit of liquid is going to come out the end and you're not going to have a massive puddle on the floor on on your sofa another thing we've done with this beaker is we actually popped the straw in the end i don't know if you can see but you've got the spout that she could drink from but it also had a little hole there which we would pop the straw in again the straw would have been much shorter than this and it just meant it was much easier to hold. It's really, really lightweight compared to something like a tumbler. Um, and she just found it much easier to hold. It's completely plain. Um, you could see through it, so you could see how much she had drunk. We used to put cups of tea in here. Um, it was microwavable, so if we needed to heat anything up, we could. And also with the straw, if she was slightly laying backwards, if, she, if maybe she was in bed, or she was kind of in a chair sitting at a funny angle with the straw, we could kind of point it into her mouth and it just meant it wasn't all gonna go down her and it made life a lot easier. Another option you've got um, is kind of the obvious, it's the classic beaker. I've got one here with um, handles on it and I've got another just plain one that's quite easy to grasp. Again, this one has got a little kitchen on it which may not be ideal. We didn't actually use this on Brenda. We we gave this one a go because of the handles. You may find that your loved one has maybe got arthritis, maybe just because of the dementia, they find it hard to actually hold on to um, to a cup. The handles really are quite a nice idea. Um, at the home that I work at, a lot of them drink out of this sort of thing. And I know it's babyish um, and like I said before it isn't going to be for everyone um, you know your, your loved one may look at you and go yeah right you know as if I'm gonna drink from that um, but you'll probably find especially in the later stages that they're completely unaware that they're actually drinking out of something like this um, and to hold on to it and to have the spout in their mouth they may find it quite comforting, they can give it a chew, it's not going to hurt them um, and they may quite quite like it. Um, it's definitely something worth giving a go. The final option is, again it's, it's not going to be for everybody, um, and you can probably tell where I'm going with this, it is a bottle. If your loved one is in bed, Brenda as you probably know if you've watched my other videos was bed bound for the last kind of year and a half two years of her life um we were lucky that we got a hospital bed uh, pretty much as soon as we kind of put her to bed and it was just the best thing ever because it meant we could have her up high we could have her up low we could sit her right up we could lay her flat um without actually putting her around um and upsetting her in any way because of that, we was able until the end to use this, this setup. Even if she was laying down, not that we really gave her much to drink when she was laying down, but if she was laying down, we could give her a drink quite easily with this. If you haven't got a hospital bed and your loved one is in bed, you may find sitting them up becomes very, very difficult. They may not want to sit up or may not even be able to sit up. Um, so something like this will probably be a godsend. As you're probably aware, it will let very little fluid out at the end. So if they are laying completely flat, it's not gonna overwhelm them. They're not gonna get huge amounts of liquid. Um, <laughs> I know it, it's very upsetting and you don't want to treat them like a baby but if you are at the kind of very very late stages you'll understand that they are like babies and something like this would work very well they're going to be very unaware of it um, like before you may find that the teeth they will suck on that they will bite it kind of gnaw on it and that would be quite comforting to them um, 
again like a normal bottle it's got the measurements on the side you can microwave it um, it's easy to clean if they do drop it it's it's not going to go everywhere it is a really good idea if you have got a loved one that is flat a lot of the time um, and also if they're half asleep you know Brenda would often lay there completely kind of unaware um, was half asleep a lot of the time so trying to get fluid into her you know sucking on a straw and having massive amounts of fluid going into your mouth even if it was you and I doing it it would be very very difficult so something like this really would work well for a loved one at the end stages of dementia like I said before we had to liquidize um, Brenda's food and thicken up her drink um, you can get a powder that you pop into food or drink um, we only used it on her drink and it just thickened up her juices obviously you know you don't want to put too much in it if you're using something like this um, but if you're using something like this or just a normal cup it does thicken up quite nicely and it's very easy to drink it's got no kind of smell or taste to it so it's not going to affect the taste of their food or drink so that is the options I hope this helps I know it's it's not going to be for everyone something like this you know it is it isn't going to be for everybody it is trial and error and you may find that this week this works but in a few weeks time you may be on to this sort of thing definitely give the straw a go um that it really was a lifesaver for us and like i said chop off a little bit at the end and make it shorter because it really is quite a long way for them to to suck on it i hope this video helps um gives you some ideas that maybe you haven't thought of before um and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.